Sometimes. Sometimes you're not a big, you don't strike me as a big reader. No, yeah, reading's stupid. <laughs> reading's oh, I think I think being reading. illiterate's stupid. Well, yeah, but I'm not. You know what I mean? I'm not illiterate. I know how to read. I just choose not to. Were you a good student in school? Like, did you I read mean, in school? I could read real good, you know? <laughs> I read good. Not real well, real I read good. good as fuck, dude. <laughs> When they when you see me read, they'd be like, "Damn, that guy!" Gold star, is Jeff re- Zanisek. Reading. He's reading so hard. <laughs> I remember when I was in school. You fuck reading up, huh? I fucked reading up. So I dominate reading. If I get a book, I like, I'm like, I look at it extra hard. You know, that's what I do when I get a book. <laughs> I guess we started. All right, guys, mm-hmm. welcome back. Welcome, 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 welcome to the Ready Set Blow Podcast, episode three sixty three. Mm-hmm. Jeff Zanisek. Coming out of the bullpen for me today. Hell yeah. That's what I do. I'm like John Rocker, dude. <laughs> I'm running you, full that, speed. That's who you pick out of all, of all the closers, John Rocker? Yeah, he was like a big-time closer. <laughs> yeah, but he was also a big-time asshole. Like, yeah. You could have been like, that, you know, that was um, cool was about Soriano from the Yankees or he, he, Al Franco. Or, yeah, but he was like known for like John sprinting out of the bullpen. Oh, okay. Yeah. That was his thing. He'd be like, I run full speed to go yeah. pitch 17 pitches to close the game. <laughs> Well, he took a lot of shit for making fun of uh, the people who ride the seven train in Queens because they, they <laughs> yeah. had the Mets rivalry back then. But being from Queens, I mean, it was fucked up what he said, but it wasn't inaccurate. It yeah, was yeah, very yeah. accurate what he said. He just no one was speaking English. I mean, yeah. like, you know, like he just was like, it's one of those things where it's like, okay, but just don't say that. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, we know yeah, that. It's like when but... a girl's fat, you don't call her fat. She knows she's yeah. fat. You just She's, don't say it. Yeah. You know, like it's rude. You don't Ex- want to be rude. Exactly. But he was just doing that. Where's he from? Do you know? Uh, well, he played for the Braves. He's pro- I think he's probably from Texas. Okay. Hey, yeah, Jamie, look that up. Like, he, seems like a, he seems like a Southern not yeah, he from. Might, yeah, I'm guessing Texas. Because that's like what someone that like is from where I'm from would do. If Florida. They moved he could to be New from York. Florida. But I'm, but I'm not from Florida. I'm from Georgia. Yeah, I'm from like Georgia, sh- Georgia, Statesboro, okay. Georgia. Yeah, see, when okay. you grow up in a small town, then you go to New York. You 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 kind of are like there's a culture shock of like all this diversity. Yeah, but you don't say it like that. You don't go, "Wow, look at all the diversity." It sounds more like "What the fuck," <laughs> and then you like sound mad when you say it, and then you look like an asshole when you you know. But the things that like the things he was saying and the things people complain about. Uh, like like from the south about New York are things that New Yorkers themselves complain about about New York. You know, it's crowded, yeah, but they're it's dirty. Like, it's, you know, it's, yeah, but they don't go like, hey, we interviewed a guy that is a mechanic from Queens to talk about the train. You know what I mean? <laughs> they don't do that. Yeah, they don't get that guy. Yeah, they don't. That guy isn't saying anything. But it's like you get that level of like cultural intelligence with a pitcher on a baseball team from Georgia. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> from rural Georgia. So he, yeah, so he comes on and he speaks like a, you know, mechanic. And then it's like, <laughs> wow, can you believe that guy said that? Well, I, the, the... Yeah, see, there he is oh, there running. He is. He's oh my running. God, he's kind see, of a how, tank, too. He that's of a... why I'm ta- That's That's me coming in to do this podcast. <laughs> That's me. Just doing it for I'm as like, hard as what? you can. Who canceled? Out? Get the fuck out of here. It's time for me to save the day. <laughs> And then bitch about diversity when I get here. <laughs> God, I'm stuck in traffic out there. Let me tell you, no. I'm That's the funny thing that people bitch about diversity, but they never like, like you know. It is good. I well, just ate Thai food earlier. Yeah, exactly. The, the Thai food. The women, right? Yeah. I love Latin women. You love Latin women. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure, like any guy who likes a fat ass likes diversity. Sure. You yeah. Know? Uh, so yeah, it's, it's just the best. it's just the men we don't like. We don't want. Yeah, foreign those men guys, here. Exactly. It's those guys a nightclub. Suck. Only let in the hot the, chicks. Yeah. That should be the rule. America should be like a nightclub. Only hot chicks allowed from overseas. Yeah. yeah the rest yeah. of you losers, get the fuck out of here. Or they gotta pick cover. <laughs> that's Yeah, I wonder what the cover would be for America. Like that's what they do with the immigration. <laughs> Low they key, just, that is immigration. Yeah, uh, it really is. If you can't yeah. afford to be here. We're really yeah. not trying to let yeah, you in. Yeah, we're you only letting in. OnlyFans girls in and rich people. Yeah, like, we're like, like yeah, it's a ladies' <laughs> night. Come on in. Come on in. You wait. I don't think so, buddy. It's do you think? I, I wonder if there's like, like if that would be illegal in some way. Like if a like why doesn't Russia do that? Yeah, we only allow hot chicks from other countries in. Yeah, I feel like Russians aren't letting anybody in. Oh, Russia doesn't care. Yeah, they, 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 but they only have like Russian hot chicks. 
That's it. Yeah, it's true. They're preserving. America, their, dude, I've been yeah. overseas, man, and most other countries don't have hot chicks from other places there. Yeah, unless they, unless you go to the strip club. Then there's always Eastern European. No, any, any country I've ever been in, mm-hmm. even Latin American countries, yeah. there's Eastern European strippers. Okay, it's like it's it's almost like they have like a that's their like a summer abroad program for strippers. It's yeah. almost like they ran away from a war torn country. Yeah, it was almost like they were tr- humanly. Trafficked. It sounds like more of an. <laughs> I think it's more of an internship actually. It's not human trafficking. Yeah. Definitely it's an unpaid internship. internship. Yeah. Yeah. It's an unpaid internship. That's yeah, an unpaid internship. It's look, we got to call it the right thing. That's what we got to do. It's all about labels. It's, yeah, it's marketing. Yeah. You have to position this appropriately. Hey, guys, sex trafficking doesn't sound good. Right. Unpaid internship. Um, <laughs> they, well, they, how with, they might get paid eventually. Like, now having sex, it's not called having sex. It's making content. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, yeah. I learned that from the OnlyFans girls. That's like, cool. It's like, yeah. oh, I'm not fucking that guy. We're making content. No, that is. I like that. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Is that the loophole the, in prostitution now? Yeah, I think, Dude, I think so. I'm a, I'm as long a, as you sell it for, like, as long as you fuck... On camera for money, it's not prostitution. Okay, I like that. That's great. I also want to do, let's say a girl's like, what are we? I'm going to be like, we are making content. <laughs> what about that? You like making content. Yeah. yeah. There you go. That's pretty good. Yeah, you want to go back to my place and make some content? Yeah. I'll make some content right in your ass. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah. I'll make some content all over your face. Yeah. <laughs> They'll be like, why do you have a ring doorbell in your bedroom? <laughs> Why do you have a ring doorbell camera like on your facing bed? the bed? It's yeah, weird. Well, well, I mean, sometimes people come in here and yeah. You know. Well, it's just to prove that you consented to this. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I don't want to be arrested for having an intern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's the way to go, dude. You got to get a ring doorbell. You know, does that like? I don't know how those things really work, but I think it's motion detected. Okay, so, so that thing's definitely working. Well, it depends the, on how hard you're yeah. going, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It really depends on the effort you're putting in there, Jeff. Yeah. If you if you're fucking and making content with your ring doorbell and it shuts off, that's embarrassing. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, like yeah. You, you, you know what I mean? It's like if you go, you ever go into one of those bathrooms where it's like motion sensor lights. That's how I know I've been pooping too long. Yeah. You know, like, like when the lights go off on you, like, up, oh, it's time to wipe and, and then get you out gotta, of here. Then you got to do like a wacky inflatable <laughs> tube man to, to get the lights back on. On the toilet. You don't want to get up. So you're, you're like, like, God <laughs> damn it. <sighs> <laughs> that really is the most embarrassing moment. That's embarrassing. But like, let's say it goes off for like maybe three seconds and then you just give it that. <sighs> and then someone comes in. Now you got to pretend like you're not in there. <laughs> Because now it's like, why you were just in here with the lights off? Yeah, what are you up, doing? And all of a sudden, you just pick your feet up. You so have they... to pick your feet up. Yeah, you, gotta sit like this you have to pick your done. feet up. You become Anne Frank. You have to be quiet, whispering. Yeah. <laughs> but then, if he finds you, like, then you're fucked. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because then it's like, what? What were you doing? You ever just sit there and poop in the dark? Like, ah, oh, fuck it. I'm not gonna do the arm wave thing. No. Yeah. <laughs> No, I'm a very just like poop in the dark. Like, all right, well, I guess I prefer my visibility. You know. Well, see, the nice thing is you always have some light. I have my phone now. Yeah. Back in the day, I mean, I remember in the '90s reading the back of the aerosol can out of boredom. You know, like. Yeah. But now you just got your phone. Well, it used to be there was these really kind people that would write things on the stalls oh, of the bathroom yeah. wall for you to read. Yeah. See, that's the kind of reading I was into. Yeah, that's how you learned to read the yeah. bathroom stall. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a lot of, it's a lot of inappropriate stuff, but it was pretty good. Do, uh, yeah. do you ever like you know keep reading material in the bathroom, like a book or some nudie mags or something? Yeah, I feel like you want to do that, but I never understood that, like keeping like a porn in the. You know what I mean? Yeah, because because yeah. it's like okay, I'm like shitting, but I need a boner <laughs> right now. And I feel like it's like counterproductive. It'd be, it'd be real weird to take a shit yeah. with a boner. Yeah, it's no good. I don't want, yeah, and then also it's like someone's like, hey, can I use your toilet? And you're like, yeah, and then there's just like porn Smut, in there. Yeah. Yeah, that was the thing when I was in college. When I was in fraternity, we had a bunch of porno mags in the bathroom. That's more of like a flex. Yeah, it's like yeah, we. It really was. There. It was more like it, it was almost like a decoration, like a yeah. gag. You know, it's like cool that it's there. Yeah, but it's like, it's why does it need to be? there? Doesn't need to be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't need to be there. Yeah, but it is. It is cool. <laughs> so I guess keep porno it mags. There. Did you ever get, like when like I remember the first time I saw a porno magazine? It's, it's always, you always like. I didn't grow up, you know, in a neighborhood with the woods. I grew up in Queens, but mm-hmm. you know, like behind a dumpster, there was like a brown bag. 
Yeah. A buddy opened up like, oh, there's a bunch of porns in it. Nice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Is, that how, is that how you got your start? Yeah, we kind of had shit like that. Um, there was a there was actually in my neighborhood here there was like a house that got demoed mm -hmm. and then like they were like rebuilding it they threw a bunch of the shit that was in that house out and they had so many old porn mags that's see, that's weird it was like, like retro saving. like 1960 like porn mags i bet there's i bet they're collectibles i mean you're you're, you're i a thought guy, about right? Mike, no, i must there must be a uh, a market for old pornography i bet like, vintage, like all that vintage shit gotta be like taken care of and stuff yeah i'll, I'll jamie that <laughs> that that does seem like that's look being a collector is cool but like that's got to be a tough one yeah well it's being it's, the fucking because i mean think about like if you're like i got a rookie john rocker card yeah, right I, it's I, like i, I got, got some rookie, rookie slut yeah <laughs> <laughs> slut mag from, and then you like know like you know what i mean like the guys that know baseball cards and shit and they're like that was the year he scored fucking yeah, this many this runs. was the year she banged 400 dudes yeah see it's like a tough that's, icebreaker yeah, exactly, yeah it's yeah. yeah it's not really like you don't want to yeah. she set the record for guys in a gangbang this year yeah. it, was, it was really a stellar achievement yeah yeah setting she your, loved all of them individually yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> like having your like knowledge of like extensive knowledge of porn is it's like, fucking weird yeah. like even if you know her measurements yeah. That's a little weird to me. Yeah, that is. Like all you should know is like maybe her name and you should often forget her name. So you're like, oh, what's yeah. you know, like if you're like going like to look up like, oh, what was that girl I liked last time? I want to watch more of her videos. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't remember it off the top of your head. It should be yeah. a little bit hard to remember. You also shouldn't recognize her by like a part of her tattoo like peeking out of her workout clothes. Okay. You know what's wrong is if, if that happened to me at If a you gym. recognize the male actor by his oh, wang, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like, oh hey, that's Oh, I know that dick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, he commits a crime, and they're like, let me see all their penises. Yeah, let me see their penises. I'll tell yeah, you who it yeah. was. Oh, it's definitely that guy, for sure. <laughs> no doubt about it. Yeah, his curve's that weird way. Yeah, I know that guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. that is tough. You don't want to be You don't want to be that guy with the too much porn knowledge, you know? There is a market, and the first fun fact of knowledge, there's a difference between newsstand magazines versus bookstore magazines. Oh, so there's like, li there's like porn literature out there. Yeah, well, and then there's porn rags that you get from like the newsstand. Newsstand is funded by advertisement, where the ones at the adult store have very few ads and much more, much more beaver. Uh, see, they're all about content. They're like the the paywall. Yeah, they're like the Patreon members <laughs> of, of whatever. The original OnlyFans with yeah. the bookstore books. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so uh, you said you were out last night with a lady on a little date. Mm -hmm. What what is your tip? What is like your go to first date? Uh. Sex? If I got yeah, well, yeah, of course. <laughs> Sex at my place if it's an option. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that's the best first date. Yeah, <laughs> you want to tell women. Hey, that. why don't you just come to my place and we'll bone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're like, you're thinking dinner and a movie. It's like, yeah. So you have dinner, watch a movie, come over, and then we'll have sex. <laughs> that would be. The That'd idea. be awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that. No, I feel like. Uh, Okay, like if you're if you're a guy and you want to go take a lady out on a first like date, how do you wow them? You want to make sure. I mean, look, you can wow them with money. That's cool. I don't have that, so that's out. Okay, so the move is this is what you do. Okay, you gotta make sure they're having fun. Fun is what's up. Okay, okay, we're all having fun. That's so what we drugs. Doing. Yeah, so bring drugs. Okay. <laughs> Do do a lot before you even go out. Yeah, like like you guys need to be on two different wavelengths. Her totally sober, you gone. That's what you need to do. That's a fun date. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like if you when you see her on the date, you want her to look like some sort of monster because you're tweaking like crazy. That's what you want. Yeah, like take mushrooms, but like all of them, and, like, don't, and don't tell her about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't that's, mention the fact you're. Yeah, play it like you're normal. That's how you normally. That's are. how you find out if she's like the one. If, if she cool, yeah. turns into an alien and tells you she's the one, then that's you did it. <laughs> Just propose right there to the alien monster that said, well, "Are you okay? Do you need some water?" Yeah, right. at this, why is your face yeah, making that? Why, shape? Yeah, yeah. Why are you sweating so much at this Applebee's? <laughs> yeah. You didn't drive like that, did you? Yeah. Yeah, that's what you want. You want that. Um, you want to be completely gone on drugs. Um. <laughs> so what do you do? See, I've always gone with just... I, I feel like on the first date, you have to set the bar low, but oh, be fun. Oh, so low. You know, like, oh, the lowest a, you set Go get a couple best. drinks at a dive yeah. bar. Yeah. You, you pick me up at my house. <laughs> 
I don't have my wallet. You pay. <laughs> Even before you get in the car, you're like, hey, I forgot yeah. my wallet. You want to go get it? And then when, no. she, when she goes no. to pay, if it's one of those, like you're going to a place that like has a point system for like frequent shoppers of that place. Oh, yeah. And then you go, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. let me use my app so oh. I get all the points. Yeah, so it's so like, she pays, you get the points. Okay, it's like what you, you take her to the fucking the food court in the mall. Yeah, where they give you the punch card for every uh, the tenth yeah. meal you get free at like the, mm -hmm. the Japanese uh, teriyaki do, spot. Do something nice. Be like, yo, babe, I got you a sample. Check this out. And then it's like, <laughs> she she told me to take one. On I took two. There you go. Yeah. She told me to take one. I took two. It's for you. I ate one, but you know but, this yeah. one's for you. <laughs> Was this the one that I didn't want because it like kind of wasn't as good? But yeah, don't worry about it. This one's for you, babe. Yeah. That's so was this, was this a first date or a second date? Or you've seen this girl? Uh, I've been on a couple. All right, where'd you meet this girl? Uh, we met. Which app? Uh, I think it was like Hinge or something. Okay, that's that's a hot one these days. Uh, yeah. Is that, does it have the same rules as like Bumble, where the girl has to start? No, you can you can do whatever. On okay. the on the app, you know. What's the uh, dumbest thing a girl's ever said to you opening up on Bumble? Oh, they always say the same thing. They just go, "Hey," because they're pretty bad at it. Yeah, women suck at picking dudes <laughs> up. Well, because they have zero practice. I mean, I get yeah. why. Yeah, but, but they... it's also like it's still like here's the thing. It's like we're still in the society that we're in yeah. that like you have to impress the woman. Yeah. So it's like. When when Bumble comes out and they're like, oh, we're like very like progressive, like women make the women will make the first move on this app. They don't it. They don't do that. The only thing it's like literally like you can't like you match on Bumble. You can't say anything as yeah. a guy. You have to wait for the woman to open the conversation. And every time they open it with hey, I mean, and if you awesome. Matt, if you fucking shoot her back with hey. Dead. Over. That's, that's where it's it ends. dead right there it's dead right there so you gotta actually three questions you gotta response. dance yeah you gotta fucking start tap dancing the second she it's basically like you know in a in like a uh like in a super bowl like coin toss situation yeah. they go like all right we're gonna flip a coin you get to decide who receives first right and you win the coin toss you know how they'll be like i defer yeah that's what women are doing. That's what they're deferring, women are yeah. deferring. The hey is I defer. The her, yeah, exactly. The she hey might as well is just deferring. Say, Go ahead. Uh -huh. you know, just text you with that instead. Yeah. Yeah. Proceed. Yeah. That's kind of what hey is. <laughs> hey is. Come on, and, yeah, yeah, hey. And and I'm you may open begin. being hit on. Yeah. <laughs> that would be great if they text you just and dot dot dot. <laughs> pretty much. That's pretty much what it is. And I mean, if you. There are sometimes they'll like throw out like a corny pickup line or whatever, but okay. you know, appreciate the effort. So, did you shoot at this one first, or she shoot at you? Uh, <laughs> I can't remember. I think I shot first. Mm -hmm. It's typically how it goes. Like as a dude, what you, you what do you open up with? I go, hey bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, bitch. <laughs> yeah. No, I just uh, I don't know. I, I try to be creative with a. You know, yeah. like I'll, I'll pick something from there. You reference the photo in one of their little collage. Yeah, yeah that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, that yeah, makes yeah, sense. yeah, That's a good, that's a good yeah. angle. Or if there's like a group of them, I'll be like, hey, uh, who's your hot friend? You ever do that? <laughs> Dude, that. we used to drive around campus when we were in high school and lived in a college town yelling at groups of girls, where are the hot friends? Hell that's yeah. That's so yeah. horrible. Yeah. That's pretty yeah. great. I mean, I've done, I've done that to girls that I'm, that I used to date. Mm-hmm. And he, like, they'll post an Instagram with like them. Some the friend friends. switch. Like, yeah, who's your friend? You try and do the friend switch? Why not? Have you ever done it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. Friend switch is tough. How'd you yeah. pull that off? Uh, it was on one of their recommendations. Oh, okay. So, so they did like a tag team. No, no. Well, not at the same time. I, I know. I know. But it's but like you're them, dating one. Well, and then I, they, I was hooking up with one for a little bit. Yeah. Kind of fizzled out. She started dating another guy. But she said, like, you got to meet my friend. Mm -hmm. She sent me up with a friend and I hooked up with a friend that night. Nice. What a bro! The handoff. I was like, I was, that I was, is pretty solid. I was very thankful for it. Yeah, yeah. both yeah. hot girls too. I, it wasn't like nice. you know, I went from the A team to the B team. It was, it was a nice, it was a lateral move. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. pretty happy about that. I like that. That's a <laughs> solid. Yeah, I used to uh, when I so when I first got single out of my uh, engagement or marriage or whatever, when I got out of that situation, uh, Tinder was like brand new, mm -hmm. and. I took like the first year I just wanted to like learn how to like pick up women normally again. Like 
like naturally out in the wild, you know. In okay, person. yeah, yeah. Like not on an app. Not on an app, yeah. yeah. But then after that, I got on the apps and I got pretty good about figuring out ways to generate responses from women. And one of the best ways, at least back then, I don't know if it'll still work today, this day and age, I haven't used one of those apps in forever. But I used to just, every girl I matched with, I would just type to them, you're ugly. Okay. So 20, 30 girls in a row, you're ugly. Full you're ugly, net. You're ugly. Even, though, yeah, even though we matched. Yeah. You're ugly, you're ugly, you're ugly. Wow. And it always got a response. Really? Either, either the girl knew I was joking because we had matched, so obviously yeah. I found her attractive. Yeah. And I said she was ugly. Okay. So she would like laugh and that would open the conversation. What would you say the percentage of success is that? I, of, of in that? terms of getting any response, eighty over 80%. 80%. Yeah. Okay, yeah, getting a response, but getting a... Positive like, response. Probably f <laughs> half and half. <laughs> half and half. But, you know... but I guess it's still good. But even the bad one, you can turn it around. Like, oh, hey, yeah. I was just joking, or... I was just like, it was like you know, you, yeah, you can sort of turn the situation around. You yeah. want to... You want... It's like sales. You, you, you just, if a you, woman hates you, she might love you. Yes. Yeah. 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 If it, I can it, get it's you indifference. To hate me. Yeah. It's indifference that is a turnoff. Yeah. It's, indifference it, it, is the worst. Yeah. Indifference, like you're not even a you're not even a person. Yeah. You don't exist. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's but the, if you like, if you are, if I made you mad, you might I might have a I, chance I to probably turn that around. Exactly. Yes. And it's like I was able to manipulate you enough to make you mad. And I can make you feel good. Exactly. <laughs> I think that's some yeah. guy's a move. Actually. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's a, I mean, it's like a it's like a Jedi mind trick thing. It's yeah, like, exactly. oh, you're all mad now, and then they're like, you made me mad, and you're like, yeah, well, yeah. what else can I do? <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty good move, actually. Are yeah. you are you a good conversationalist on a date? Like, I mean, I feel like it. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like I'm pretty hilarious. But yeah, but, I mean, we do. This is how but, I but do I the date. I, I we go into a podcast studio, and then we just start. <laughs> I'm like. And let's go, you know. That actually would be a, a probably a very popular podcast series. The first day, the first date, where it's every time you have somebody on, yeah. it just you, like yeah. so. If I was, you know, like if I was like, you know, That'd single, and all I would do podcast. is bring in girls that I was dating. Yeah. Like, first date, you come do my podcast. Yeah, dude, fuck yeah, uh, dude. I definitely, I got it. That's get a good that idea. Going Someone's gonna podcast. steal that. Yeah, yeah. That's a solid podcast. Well, I mean, isn't that Adam Twenty Two guy kind of doing that? The plug talk where he like. Brings a guest on. Like, well, it's, it's him them. and his porn star girlfriend. They just fuck another porn star. I don't know that it's. That's pretty cool. That's pretty solid. <laughs> That's a solid business model for. I mean, they uh, have the podcast. They, uh, do they do? The it's like, oh, is, is it cool? You like fuck people? I'm like, do they yeah. fuck? What about fucking us? Yeah. Okay, well, let's yeah. go. How long is that podcast? Well, that's what I want to know. Do they fuck before or after they talk? I would think you want to talk before. See, I would. I. I mm. Because I mean, I want to get the fucking out of the way. Yeah, but what if you bust and you're like, I gotta get the fuck out of here, dude? What That's if you have point. that? Yeah, what you, if you might have be sleepy. The post nut clarity, dude. Oh yeah, dude. If I if I did a podcast and it's like after bust podcast, it's like <laughs> just me like just laying down. It'd be the most honest male podcast it'd ever. Just be me sleeping. <laughs> Like I'm eating post nut like, cloudy I'm, podcast. Like, I'm microwaving a pizza and then like I've passed out while my uh, microwave is beeping yeah. for nine hours straight. There's no way it's after because it's with his girl. Listening to your girl talk for ninety minutes after post nut. No. Yeah, 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 no, yeah, exactly. That's why you fall asleep as a guy. Yeah. <laughs> it's her voice. But yeah, it's it, her it, voice. The lullaby puts yeah, you right to puts bed. Puts you to sleep. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's that. I think that would be a good fucking, a good, uh, good podcast. Yeah. But I, I wonder if, I feel like women in a weird way, I feel like women, it might, they might be a little bit like feel weird about going on camera live on a first date, mm -hmm. but that's why you do it, uh, it really remove, James really, O'Keefe style. And you what's go, that? yeah, fucking what's that? Uh, project Veritas where you do a uh, like, hidden camera style. I, I don't know if that's legal. Yeah, it's probably not, but, <laughs> but that's that's like that kind of... You got to get them to sign a consent before well, they show up. You do the undercover journalism Yeah, we stuff. should meet. We absolutely should meet. First son's consent yeah. form. Yeah. There's not a disclosure agreement. Yeah, yeah. It's like, what? But uh, but I feel like in some ways it would make women feel safer about meeting. It's like, hey, I'm going to put this mm -hmm. on the internet, so obviously I'm not going to kill yeah. you. You know, like it's not going to be a murder situation. Are we not just yeah. ripping off that 90s show Blind Date, though? Oh, That dude, is true. That yeah. show, every the newlywed game, the dating game, they're all the same theme. But no one's ever done it on a podcast. What I'm was aware of. what was like the, the, where the host takes a girl out on a date, and the first time they meet is on the podcast. Those day, I do remember those dating. So shows. you like those film the crazy. awkward part, the whole thing, though. Yeah, that is wild. They do. So they used to have these dating shows where you would like, 
they would have a person on. They're like, so you took uh, Sally on a date over here. And then they had like footage of them at a date and then him oh, like yeah. being a goofball like <laughs> making the corniest jokes oh dude that would suck that sucked. and dude, everybody watches you like just be a dork and you're you uh, there's there's really there's no more awkward moment in a person's life i think than first dates like yeah they're, they're kind awkward. of tripping over each other it's a little mm-hmm. you know like Hey, am I gonna? Yeah, you're trying to gonna, pretend to be yeah, the person you want to yeah, be. Yeah, exactly. You're trying to pretend to be a better person. <laughs> yeah, you you you, you don't want to show them how badly you want to just no. bang them and leave. Yeah, because you want to like play play the yeah. game a little bit. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. a lot of work. Yeah, and then you gotta uphold, and then like however good you were at lying on that first date, like how much can you keep up? That's that really the key. Yeah, the, like, the facade of bullshit. You're like, yeah, I'm actually Batman. You know, <laughs> and they're like, <sighs> and then the next day, you're like, God damn it, I gotta fucking. You gotta make you gotta tell your life. friend, like, hey man, tell at, her like, at midnight, can you flash like this light up in the <laughs> sky? Just for, like, so, so I gotta go? Cause, yeah, because yeah, I gotta get out of this day. <laughs> and that's how I'll get out of it. You know what show I loved back in the day? It's I guess it's kind of like a dating show. You mm-hmm. guys familiar with, the, familiar with the show Cheaters? Oh, yeah. God, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Joey Greco. Were those real? <laughs> Love Were those that guy. real? Like, it was, some of it was staged, for sure. Yeah. Oh, no, he really got stabbed, though, in one of those episodes. Do you guys God, remember that episode? Damn yeah. it. No, he got stabbed. He went out on a, he, like he, some guy and uh, some guy, uh, some woman was cheating with a guy, mm-hmm. and they were out on his boat. So they took a boat with her estranged boyfriend or husband to go confront these two. Okay. And like th- one of the guys jumped on the boat, and this commotion, he got stabbed a couple times in his abdomen. So he, he, so he got stabbed on TV. Joey Greco. Fuck. Yeah, yeah here it is. This is the stabbing. This is great. Wait, so yeah, look, that's the stabbing right. He can oh stay, my he can, yeah, he can God. stab right here. I mean, the, it's, it. he got thrown overboard. This was legit, dude. What the fuck? He stabbed him twice. Okay, wait. So that who's the that's Joey? So Joey Greco. Joey that's Greco, the guy who did the stabbing. Okay, wait. So Joey Greco is the host of the show. Yeah, great He's name like, by the way. You're busted for cheating, right? And yeah. And the cheating guy stabbed. Yeah, the guy who was, yeah, the guy, yeah, here he is, bleeding onto the boat. It's really hard to pull off the I wasn't cheating after you stab a guy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's a pretty, pretty big admission of guilt. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look, he's, he's bleeding hard, dude. Look at him. He's, he's, dude, he's <laughs> literally like dying right there. What the fuck? <laughs> Could you imagine you almost died like, yeah, 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 for keep this rolling, show keep on rolling. UPN 9 called Jesus? He's like, he's like fucking passed out. Dude, that is Yeah, I think the show is on like happen? the CW. Oh, this must have been like 1999, 2001, something like that. Dude, In that, that was, range. Good lord, dude. TV was so crazy back How then. How rad was that though? Like a, a live stabbing. <clears throat> yeah, that was pretty crazy. That's like uh damn, dude. TV in the 90s was so good. Fucking Jerry nuts, Springer dude. and Cheaters 2001, 2003. There you go. Yeah. Joey Greco, no relation to Richard Greco. By, by oh, or hopefully no. a relation to Richard Greco. I wonder where he is now. Are you going to read that and ruin your memories? Oh, sure. In 2003, Greco was uh, allegedly stabbed by a cheating boyfriend with the cheaters crew aboard of the oh, men's boat. Oh, so it was However, fake. However, oh, he faked it. Wow. What? I knew there were, I'd heard stories. About what? Uh, there was a hoax. Fuck that, man. This is a hoax. No, this, this is a bullshit. hoax. That's real. It wasn't even actually stuff. Okay, it did. It's it real did, to me, goddammit. It. it did seem like, I mean, the filming of it, it's like, there's so there's like a shot of him like, oh, I'm dying. You know? yeah, yeah. It's like pretty dramatic. And he's bleeding out into his hand. Yeah. Through a coat, mind you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, when, when that kind of shit happens, like, you kind of like, the person filming usually misses stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, you know, like how many times do you see like a wild video and it's like, oh man, look at this guy, and then the guy holding the camera like drops it. Yeah, he's like actually in the moment, like, he's like running away from a yeah. Yeah, because like I'm gonna beat that mountain lion with the camera to save my friend. I'm not gonna film or save your dying. own life. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, but I also don't like like if if something is untrue on the internet, I don't bother to look and prove it. Like if if I think it's true, I don't try. I try not to find out if it's untrue. Yeah, like, yeah, like oh, yeah. like you see a video, like a, like a famous meme or whatever. Like oh, they 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 faked that. Like yeah. not to me, they didn't, dude. Yeah, you know, I I like to live my own little that bubble. That is real. That yeah, it's real that. to me. Yeah, yeah, I'm living my truth, and my truth is that Joey Greco got stabbed. Yeah, on television. Yeah, that's and my then, truth. We're gonna say it. Here, I identify but... as Joey Greco being stabbed. Yeah, <laughs> is that a... <laughs> for his show being so wild that a lunatic stabbed him? <laughs> yeah, I mean that that does make sense. I mean. You know. What's crazy though, they the show was like a you know twenty two minute runtime or whatever. They had three commercial breaks, 
and within the, before the first commercial break, he already had video of the guy like kissing some other girl. Yeah. He's like, you know, we got to go back tomorrow night and really investigate. Yeah. It's like, I'm pretty sure you have enough evidence there. But then I like, catch him going in and out of her house. We, we should do a show called... And they always confront them when they're together. So it's, it, the, the guy now like goes home to his girlfriend and that's when Joey Greco says, hey, here's some videos of him cheating. Yeah. It's always when he's like balls deep in the other woman that he comes knocking on the hotel room door. He's like, hey, I'm here with your girlfriend. You want to come out and talk about your cheating? We got cameras. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, let, dude, I think I'm going to jump out the window now. Yeah, let's start another show that's like Cheaters uh, 2023, where it's like, if you are in a relationship that's going fine and you want to start cheating, hit us up and we'll film it. <laughs> How about Free that? cheating? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's just like if you if you want to like ruin your relationship, like hit us up and then we'll like bang you or whatever. That'd be a, gr- <laughs> you know what I mean. Not if you're a dude, but yeah. Well, yeah, of course. Of course. Like, we're, I mean, I mean, we sure. we could figure out a way to offer those services for those people that need that because yeah. it is you know 2023 and you know, yeah, you want to be inclusive. It's Pride Month or whatever. Filming for content though, or it won't be legal. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. got to film for content. Yeah, exactly. And then we make an OnlyFans of the show. Yeah. That's and it. it's behind a paywall. So That's it's like genius. you want to make the, extra money on the that. hot content. You want to see what went down with the, the episode. Hit us up. <laughs> Seems pretty good. It's a, it's a killer it's helping show. people cheat? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, feel like, I feel like there's a big market for that. Like, not just not the cheating part necessarily, but like teaching people how to break up with other people yeah. successfully. Yeah, that's a skill. Most you che- learn. Yeah, that's what most cheating is. It's like you wanted to exit the relationship, but and you, you don't know wanna, how to get out. Well, you didn't want to have the confrontation of the uncomfortable, like, "Hey, this isn't working out." So yeah. it's it's almost easier to be like, "I'm just gonna go like cheat." They get mad at you and they dump you. Yeah, yeah. which yeah, that I mean that does suck. Like the the guilt you would feel is bad, but if I guess if you don't care, whatever I guess, but. <laughs> You know. How do you break up with chicks? You uh, say, hey, dude. I try to not. Not doing it. <laughs> I try to not even get into a thing. Oh, uh, what do you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you do. You just don't get into it. So, how do you not get into it? Do you have like a, like, like a strategy <laughs> of like pushing them away? Um, Ghosting? Is that what you. No, I don't do that. I don't know. I just. I haven't been in a relationship in a while, so... I think he told you his perfect first date, and that's all you need to know. That's a good point, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sex yeah. in his house, and then she leaves. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> then I'm like, hey, you, we should do that again. They're like, do you know my name? I'm like, nope. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, th- I feel like you, in order to avoid the relationship, you have to have sex less than once every other week with that person. Wait. Like, if you have sex twice in the same week with that girl, like, if you, she comes over twice in a week, in a week... Yeah. That's when the, you start stepping towards a relationship. Yeah, yeah I yeah. feel like if you see her twice a month or less, you you can you could keep her at bay. <laughs> That's a really weird rule, but yeah. I mean, that it makes does make sense. Yeah, know, yeah, yeah. People get, like, yeah. Like if you see your dog every day, it becomes your dog. Sure. But yeah, like yeah. you know, you visit your friend's dog once every two weeks. It's like, oh, it's my friend's dog. Like you know, like That's you true. play with the dog and then you go yeah. home to your empty possession house. is nine tenths of the law. Yeah, and if, so, and if she's yeah. not in possession of your time, she can't mm-hmm. you know claim. Girlfriend status on you. That's true. That's good. That's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> you got to limit the time. It's, it's, so it's, it's, like, like, you gotta, it's like a custody situation. Yeah. It's, it's almost like part-time, But your time is your child that you're, share, that you're sharing <laughs> custody She has with. partial custody of yeah, the yeah. time. But it's like, look, you only get two weeks. Yeah, you, get, you only get two <laughs> weeks a month. Two weekends a month. Two weekends a month. It's like the, oh, the yeah. army reserves. Yeah. One week in a year, two weeks a month. Mm-hmm. Like, two, weekends, well, two, week, two weeks a year, one week in a month. Yeah. 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 That's pretty good. That's my, that's my strategy. That's a good way to avoid it. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know what also helps if you just date multiple girls at once. Yeah. Because they eventually find out and kind of tell you to fuck yourself. <laughs> you know, yeah, that's, but, o- that's always easy. But that, then it's like that all like blows up in your face. No, right? but what happens when you, but you, you've made no commitment to one of those girls. Sure. You know, like you're, you're, you're non-exclusive, but you're non-exclusive like three or four girls at a time. Okay. You're like, oh, what are you up to tonight? Oh, I got plans. What, what, what do you mean you got plans? Yeah, I'm yeah. going on a date. Yeah. It's, someone who's not you. Yeah. You know, Have you ever does that? Yeah, I did, I did it a Fun. lot in Boston, dude. <laughs> and I, I did, and I found being honest with these women kept them around longer than I thought. Yeah. Like, like, are you, are you seeing other people? I'm like, yeah, I do are, th- yeah, yeah, aren't I do you? Th- yeah. Like, do you think oh well, no. Honest. I mean, I guess I hadn't thought about it. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, no, I'd love to spend time with you, but I'm also seeing other people. Like, I do think being honest about it is easier in the long term. You know. Yeah. Like in the short term, it's you know, it's unco- it could be an uncomfortable situation, like you were saying, uncomfortable conversation. Yeah. It can be uncomfortable up front, but if you're like kind of open about it, it does make it easier and less people actually get hurt. Yeah, well, you know? I think the key is to be not uh, blasé about it, but not to use a 
corny term, but like to be more, you know, like, you know, dismissive of it. Like, oh, yeah, I'm seeing other people. Like, you know, mm. and not make a big deal out of it. Like, if well, you, it's have, like, you shouldn't have to sit down and be like, listen, just so, I don't want to hurt your feelings, but I'm dating some other people. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah, no, I'm seeing other people. It's cool. And then just like brush it off. I mean, the you other thing would casually, too, the other thing, casually mention it. Sure. The other thing, too, though, is like if you're, if you're seeing other people or whatever, if they're like, it, or if you see them so infrequently, you know, yeah. like it's like th you don't know what they're doing with other people either. Well, so see, that's like, the thing. I, I always assume that they're hooking up with other people. Yeah. So that way. It's usually a good assumption here in LA. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, or anywhere in the world for that matter. They are women. They have options, you know. Yeah. They way more so than we many, do. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. This is, I mean, you yeah. go into any, you go into a fucking forest phone and she got dick pictures. That's another thing. DMs. Like if you're, if you're a dude going through a breakup, like, and you're like, uh, you know, like you don't want to enter a who can like get more. Like, yeah, you're gonna lose that. You kid. don't want to do that. No, that's, that's a losing bet. You're losing that battle that afternoon. Yeah, I mean, what you got to do is forget they exist. Mm -hmm. You just got to because I mean they're gonna be banging other dudes within seconds yeah. of you leaving. Yeah, you know, there's a line out the door. Yeah, uh, I feel like the like in a relationship, it's uh, it's women leave the relationship before the relationship's over. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Well, I mean, they, women initiate something like seventy percent of all divorces. They they far yeah. exceed, exceed men in that. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, they, yeah, they they check out. Yeah, they I've been trying out. to do a joke about this about how men are more loyal than women. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I can see because it. of that stat you just yeah, said. I can see it. Yeah. Like I'm, you remember that Adam Levine story? What, what's the Adam Levine? Adam story? Levine, like he was like fucking this chick, right? Uh, her name was like Sumner Stroh. Okay. Did you ever hear about that? I th and then this lady, uh, it might not have even been a year ago. So oh, really? he was he was having his uh, kid yeah. with his wife, and then this lady Sumner Stroh that was like fucking him for like the last like year. I mean, he is Adam Levine. Came out and was like on TikTok, made a viral TikTok that was like, you know, hey, I fucked Adam Levine and he's like a scumbag or whatever. Tried to out him. Yeah. So. But then the whole internet like annihilated her for being like this. Like, good, I love that. Yeah, it was kind of. I honestly, when I saw that video, I was like, okay, everybody's gonna be like, Adam Levine's a scumbag. He sucks. Fuck him. You're a girl boss. But like, most of the comments on that video were from women being like, you're a whore. You <laughs> like, it was crazy. I didn't expect it to be like that at all. Dude, women, women will, women will fight for someone that they like. Like, he, yeah. and Adam Levine's good looking and likable the, enough. Like, I can see women taking his side. Like, women will take Bieber's side no, no, over they Selena no, no, Gomez's they, side. You know, they like, were not, no, but here's what women were doing. This is this is what was really interesting about it. Women were not taking Adam Levine's side. They were like, yeah, he's a scumbag because he's cheating on his wife. But they felt bad for the wife. Oh, they all, Cause oh, yeah. He, because the, all, all the comments from the women were basically like, you are fucking Adam Levine, who's very openly married. So you know you're openly the other, married. I like this. You know the term. you. Well, I mean, you know what I mean. Like it's yeah. not like he's not like a secret married guy, or you know what I mean. He's like a mega celebrity. Yeah, he's on TV all the time. He's like, oh, me and my he's wife, a known having, fam, quote unquote family man. Yeah, yeah. So it's like you know. So then when this lady's like, I was having sex with him, and he told me like we were going to be a thing or what you know and then yeah men lie when we're inside of you yeah. i mean like whatever it takes to get your panties off mm -hmm. yeah so <laughs> so like yeah all the people were like basically or all the women were shitting on that lady because they were saying like oh she's a home wrecker all yeah, that she's a home wrecker but it's like she knows that she's the like the second girl yeah side chick you're the gumar <laughs> yeah. Is that what that's called? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. I, 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 something like that. Yeah. I always wonder why, like, I never get that when, like, let's say you're in a relationship with somebody, right? Mm -hmm. Let's say I'm in a relationship with somebody, and I find her sleeping with another guy, and I want to beat that guy up. Yeah. It's like, I always thought it was strange that the person who got cheated on would be angry with the other adult or not with the person that they're actually in a relationship with. It's like, that guy doesn't owe me any explanation. Sure. He's a guy and trying also, to get laid. he might not even she, know. Exactly. He might not know. She's the one. Who made a commitment to me? Mm -hmm. Who fucked me over? He, yeah, she he doesn't knows know me. that she. Yeah, did. she's the one at fault. Be mad at her. Not the. Uh, I have yeah. no animosity towards the other guy. Yeah, but it's like you. It's like what what that is. It's like your misplaced rage. It's like yeah. well, you can't hit her. That's bad, <laughs> right. So it's like you're not allowed to do that. Yeah, that's. <laughs> but like well, I can hit him. Yeah, <laughs> you can hit that guy. Yeah. But it's also like that's not really yeah, going to do I, anything. But I, put the, anyway. yeah, I put the shoe on the other foot. Like if I was him and she was hot. Mm -hmm. And I, he might not know that she has a, a boyfriend or a husband. Yeah. And even if he did know, 
Mm. He's like, whatever, man. If she's into it, I'll do it. Like, yeah. you know, like th that's on her. Yeah. So I see that guy's position. Uh huh. You know, her. She's the one that wrong. Yeah, but it's like if you may not know the story between that situation because the woman may not have told. Yeah, that she guy. might have lied to him all the whole time. Yeah, yeah. So that guy could be completely oblivious to this relationship yeah. even existing. Yeah. So like that's what's really crazy about it. But you know, yeah. If if she's cheating on you with another guy, she knows she's doing that. She's not going to be like, wait, what? <laughs> Wait, I'm, I'm in a relationship? Yeah, she's not going to do I that. live with a man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait a minute, we have kids together? I, I don't recall any of this. Like, Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Dude, speaking of cheating, uh, this was actually in the news, and it's it's per perfectly dovetails to the conversation. It says, uh, Neymar's girlfriend rumored to have three shocking rules that allow the soccer, the soccer star to cheat. Neymar? Neymar, yeah. Neymar, okay. Neymar. Okay. Are you a big soccer fan? No, not really. Not that my, but these guys get a lot of puss. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Uh, the Brazilian soccer star and model who revealed in April that they're expecting a child together follows three rules that allow him to be unfaithful to his wife. Okay. Uh, the reported agreement between the couple is that Neymar could stay with other girls as long as he's discreet about the relationship. He is forbidden to be with quote-unquote call girls and to make love without a condom, and he cannot kiss them on the mouth. So it sounds to me like Neymar... These rules are really funny. Yeah. When, when people do these, like, open relationship, cheating, kind of whatever, like... Yeah, we were talking about relationship, open relationship slash cheating last time. Yeah, yeah, like, these kind of things are, like, the rules people make are so... So bonkers. arbitrary. And it's also, like, all right, look, after you fuck, you can't cuddle, so you have to make a pillow fort between <laughs> you guys, because cuddling is too intimate. Yeah, don't but kiss, fucking's fine. Yeah, don't kiss my wife on the mouth, but you can fuck her ass all yeah. you want. Yeah. It's like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah. No kissing, yeah. but you can come in her mouth. It's yeah. like, that just doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Don't bust on her face because that's our thing. <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah, it's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> just those rules is like, yeah. and then it's funny if you see like someone in one of those relationships, like a couple, like getting in that argument, like, the heated argument about the rules they yeah. like But I mean, you set. called him and you didn't tell me about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, well, I'm, I'm sorry, honey. <laughs> yeah. So bizarre. But Did I mean, you guys act... Did, you used a condom? Really? You you promise? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I get... You know, it's like, how can you prove yeah. that you did I that? I mean, look, I feel like most... And that's the other thing, dude. If you're wearing a condom, you're not even having sex. It doesn't count. You're not touching them. It doesn't count. Yeah. So you're, there's a barrier between yeah, It's like you. when you were a kid, you know, like your siblings, and you like put their finger right in their face. Yeah, I'm you're not, not touching you. you. I mean, touch imagine if you put a condom on your entire hand, and then you, you're still not touching them. Yeah. Like actually. The, the condom's the, touching them. Yeah, the condom is touching them. So, so that yeah. counts. So that's uh, that's that's how that works. All all that was really happening was like your hips and ball area were like kind of <laughs> clapping into their hips, you know? So. Yeah. So like, really, like, is that... It's just grind dancing. It's like dancing. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It just danced a little bit. Sure, there was, like, a connection of your <laughs> Sure, penis. I was inside of you for some of it. Yeah, well, you weren't. The condom, you, the condom was, in, was inside. And I was inside, inside the, con the condom. condom. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly. a good point. Yeah. It, it's a real big distinction there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And it, yeah, if you're in a relationship and you need to, like, kind of bust that out as an argument, that, that <laughs> might... That might be the, might that save might you. save the day. Might save the yeah. day. If you can really keep a cool head while you're making this argument. Yeah, and not and, and, and not laugh in the middle of it. Yeah. <laughs> or get punched by a woman or whoever's yelling at you. Yeah. Well, uh, I I feel like gay men are cool with the cheating. Because mm -hmm. they kind of cheat together. It's called an orgy and they do them all the time. Yeah, maybe. I'm sure they have like this kind of stuff too though. Yeah, I guess they are people. Yeah, they have people well, but it's like they also like have their relationship stuff and all that. Like I mean, because... If it wasn't like the same as like relationships with men and women, they wouldn't want to get married. Yeah, they wouldn't have fought for that legislature stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, they would have been like, "You don't need that." <laughs> like, yeah, we're cool without it. You're cool, yeah. yeah. I like having sex in the bathroom with strangers. How about that route? Yeah. Let's go that route. It does make like being like being gay and legally married. That does make it boring, though. Yeah, it's like, come on, dude. That's not what it's about. They want, yeah, they want, yeah. You gotta, gay you gotta do it like on the DL, dude. That's how you do it. That's cool gay stuff, you know. <laughs> go to go to the truck stop, drill yeah, a dude. fucking hole in a the glory hole. Yeah, make a glory hole, you know. Yeah. Well, last time we talked, we were trying to figure out how to make a glory hole for women. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. sex swing involved. Yeah, we could just get an engineer on that. Yeah. Elon Musk could figure that. It out. would need. Would you? Yeah, yeah. I'm still thinking about that. Would well, you, you know, it actually would be easy if the glory holes on the floor. 
right? Okay. Wait, so they would lay in the So they just floor. sit on the floor and you could, you know, okay. go up. Okay, wait. Uh, although, oh, uh, like the, although like, putting your dick through the glitter hole would be hard. You could finger them up there, but you couldn't like... Okay, yeah. See, I maybe like, some sort of crawl space. Maybe maybe like an angle situation where it's like yeah, that. Like a po- like a little pommel horse. Yeah. They sit on and, mm-hmm. and you're inside of it. Yeah, you yeah. know that like thing that you like kind of lay on that like rounds your back? Oh, yeah. That, like a uh, Pilates place? Oh, yeah, the rolling things? The roll- yeah. yeah, the foam rollers? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like one of those. <laughs> Except there's a... A woman <laughs> in it with her pussy Straddling. exposed. Yeah, yeah, that'd be a <laughs> that's a ridiculous. <laughs> it's a ridiculous yeah. thought. It's like a yeah. You, know, you have to make that at like a gymnast place. <laughs> you know what I mean? When they teach yeah. you how to backflip, they do, they're like the cheese wedge like <laughs> triangle f- pad thing. The cheese wedge. Pad. You know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, the yeah. spring in it. Yeah, the yeah. vault. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, that's how you learn how to do that. And you falls onto a, a pommel horse with your dick. Yeah. I mean, that's what like a. Have you ever seen one of those like sex pillow things? Oh yeah, that's what those are. It's basically just like gymnastics equipment. <laughs> so, so it's like yeah. It seems like a lot of work to put up a sex swing. Yeah, because you got to find like a like a beam in your house that can take load bearing weight. Mm-hmm. And if your girlfriend's fat, I mean, forget that's about it. Tough. Yeah, you yeah. got to reinforce yeah. the fucking house. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, sex swing seems pretty tough. You know. Yeah. What you need to do is you need to just get a regular a swing good, set. You get style. a hammock. You get a hammock, and you just hammock's tough too because I mean it's the same deal. You got to find two trees that are the right distance apart. Yeah, well, they have the ones that come with the base themselves now. You see that the hammocks? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So come set up. Yeah, but like then it's set. like a, it's a weird angle. It, that, that is weird. Yeah, yeah. It's not as comfortable if you're in a net. Yeah. Wait, and what is a sex swing? It's like a like a diaper thing. No, it's of? literally so someone can swing and get fucked on it. It's, I mean, it's like a little, like an apparatus you could sit in and just okay. bang a chick in it. He, okay. Here, so he's I, pulling it up. Don't pull right, up great. Sex Hell yeah. I can't wait to see this. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Yeah. I mean, if you, oh, okay. I see. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. That's a tough one to, cause it's like, do you just have that up? At I mean, house? look, that, that one looks like a jungle gym. He's got like a hole mm-hmm. on the uh, bottom right there. Yeah. But do you just with, yeah, I mean, look at that, dude. That, yeah, I mean, that's, dude, that's what I was talking about. That's you know, like the great playground if, equipment. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, it looks like playground equipment. That'd be great if you set up a sex, a sex swing in your yard like, yeah. next to your kid's playground equipment and just yeah. didn't say anything. And you lay lay down like mulch and shit. Around. You know? You remember that? When, yeah, like, you, you, put, go to you put a tire swing next to it, make it yeah. look like. Yeah. Here's a couple carabiners away from taking the tire off and the swings up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's what you. That's actually how you would do it. Yeah, you, you would, put, you would those... put like a tire swing up, and then that would just be the disguise. Yeah, and then but then people in your neighborhood would be like, "Those people don't have a kid. <laughs> Why do they have a tire swing?" Just creeping them out. Yeah, <laughs> and they're like, "I do hear the tire swing moving a lot at night." Yeah. It's like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> The right neighbors know and the right neighbors come exactly, out. Exactly, dude. Yeah. Exactly. You yeah. got a jungle gym and a, and a, and a sex swing out there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, I'd watch Netflix in this one. Oh, that one, the, the one on the right? That's yeah. The blue one? You yeah. Telling me that's yeah. Not How a is that cloud? a sex swing? Oh, because okay. it got stirrups. This, if you take the stirrups. stirrups off, it looks just like a funny day bed, like a cool day bed. Yeah. I'd watch Netflix in this thing. <laughs> yeah, it Mike does Bell. look kind of comfortable. Yeah, it looks hella comfortable, dude. Yeah. That would be really funny if, like, you just, like, you get one to, like, because you're, like, real kinky or whatever. But then, like, you're, like, this is really comfortable. And that's just how you watch TV now. So your friends come over for, like, a Super Bowl party. And you're just, like, laying up with your, like, feet in a a fucking Just take a nap in it. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, your friends. Yeah, you have roommates. They come over and they're, like, God damn it. He's in the sex swing again. Yeah. Fully clothed. Oh, yeah. That's my roommate. He just sleeps in the sex swing. So don't worry about it. <laughs> He's got it. a bad back. Yeah. It helps. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Would that help your back or would that be worse for your back? I mean, I don't know. She looks, that one that one chick looks like her uh, back blown out pretty good. Yeah. Right there? Yeah. yeah I mean, she's good. Cool. <laughs> could you, I mean, could you do this kind of thing on like a teeter hang-ups situation? Yeah, dude. <laughs> like the upside teeter-totter? down. Yeah. No, the upside down. You yeah. know what I'm talking about? Yeah, dude, do you think these models like? 
That's got to be really funny. Like, I'm saying they, they, like, they must be like, all right, we're not going to laugh on this one. Don't laugh. And then yeah. they immediately take the shot. Because like, I'd be laughing my ass off if they told me to get in that position. But yeah. there's the Netflix one. Tell me she doesn't look so comfy. Yeah, that yeah. one is pretty cool. You would have to mount your TV like kind of high. <laughs> you know, because yeah. your angle is... Your angle's a little laid out. Yeah. I'm into it, though. Yeah, it's pretty cool. All right. <laughs> Here's this one. Uh, the countries with the largest breast sizes in the world have been revealed. Find out where yours stacks up. So, first question, Jeff. Okay. Okay. Which what, country do you think ha- uh, the women have the biggest breasts in? Biggest tits. Country with the biggest tits. I want to say um, probably probably somewhere like Poland or somewhere like that. Maybe. Oh, uh, it's a good guess. Like a, yeah. I would. Uh, yeah, I would. With, like I, a you know, great, Eastern European. Yeah. And I assume this is natural. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. obviously, yeah. but uh, it says the largest breasts can be found in Norway, Iceland, and the United Kingdom. Uh yeah. And then the USA. So USA is number four. We're number four, dude. We're right there. That's number right one there. In middle dudes, class. Though. Number one in dudes, though. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> the smallest are in Central Africa and Southeast Asia. Okay. Norway, huh? Wait. Se- wait. Where were the smallest? Norway's number one. Uh, the smallest are in Central Africa and Southeast Asia, so like Vietnam, Cambodia. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the World Health Organization. Uh, this is the kind of stuff we need from the the World, World Health Organization. Yeah, yeah. yeah, this is where are the big this boobs. Is where at? we need. <laughs> this is the kind of science that we need in this country right now. Where are the tits at? <laughs> science, get on it. <laughs> where are the big boobs, dude? Yeah, that's the kind. I've thought about that. It's like you think scientists are like a bunch of dorks, but really, there's like scientists. They're like. How much pussy can we get? You know? <laughs> like, I mean, a scientist, a, science. did, a scientist did invent Viagra. You know, yeah, like exactly. they're, they're, those guys, those, the scientists. But that was, I think, that was an accident, right? Didn't they yeah, try well, they're to, trying to make like a like a heart medication. Yeah, like I don't know why it doesn't work as a heart medication. But these guys have hard cock. I blew out this chick's back <laughs> last night. My heart did feel like it was going to explode, yeah. but damn, my dong was rock yeah. solid. My dick was so hard it turned purple. Yeah. It's still hard now, and I, I kind of, I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. Yeah. Before it was FDA approved, how long do you think all those guys were just like the hookup to their buddies? Yeah. Oh, man. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. And imagine the first conversation of the first pitch of, hey, dude, you know I'm a scientist? I got this pill, bro. Mm-hmm. You know, keep your dick hard for six hours. Like, yeah. What? Lies, lies. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This is gonna help your heart, but uh, this is a side effect. You might get the hardest you've ever gotten in your entire life. <laughs> oh, oh, really? Yeah. That's the side effect. It's uh, you know, sometimes pills have. It's across the bear. Effects. We all yeah, have across the bear. Do it. It's yeah. like, look, I care about my heart health, so that's why I'm hard always. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta sleep on my back at night. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have. <laughs> yeah. I've made my bed as to one of the, you know, the uh, the massage table with yeah, the hole through your face. Instead <laughs> of the head, you're coming down by your crotch. Yeah. yeah, I've scooped a hole where my dong would go. <laughs> That's the fucking sickest table. Yeah, dude. Uh, it says that the World Health Organization defines <clears throat> overweight as a person who has a BMI of greater than 25. The only country in the top 20 that has a healthy BMI was Denmark. So, so wait, so Denmark has the nicest tits with with the good, thinnest low, chicks. Low, yeah, okay. Yeah. So well, that was I, was see, I like say, I like that kind of science yeah. too. They're like see, these are big tits, but are they fat tits or yeah. are they like healthy? Yeah, exactly. Like, are these healthy big tits yeah, yeah. or are these just big because are these you've been floppers? Reading? Yeah. Flopper. Yeah. Are these tube socks with There's rocks? Literally, in them? like scientists, they're like, all right, in this category, we, these are floppy tits. You know what I mean? I wonder if they have like a special name for floppy tits. They probably have some scientific. Yeah, it's got to be. Shit. I want to pull up the table. <laughs> it's, it's on Walmart though. Milking massage table, Walmart. Whoa, milking? Wow. It's in the search. Wow. Wait, you can buy a milking massage table from Walmart. I mean, I don't see the hole. Where's the hole it's supposed to be? But. You and you, t- and does it, you say, typed does in it milking? show the hole there? Why is it called milking? Oh, you know why it's called. I know, milking. but but Walmart was selling milk. Yo, to be fair, yeah. To, uh, to be fair, if I did you, go into Walmart recently, mm-hmm. and I noticed in their uh, in their like pharmacy aisle, mm-hmm. they're selling vibrators and, and butt plugs. Nice. Oh, but you can get it on Amazon for eight hundred and thirty dollars, and there's the hole. 
Oh, jerk off table. Wow. Look, wow. if you're if you're a masseuse and you get that table, have fun with your You make an extra yeah, money. Yeah. Eight hundred and thirty dollars though for the Black table. Black BDSM furniture glory hole milking table. <laughs> Just got demonetized. <laughs> wow, yeah. But they sell it on Amazon. I'm, I'm oh going to get demonetized for talking about yeah. it. You can buy that on Amazon. Click the affiliate link in the bio yeah, exactly. to <laughs> get a <laughs> discount on your glory hole table. <laughs> that is wild, dude. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you're really like going for it as a masseuse if you get that yeah, table. Well, if you, I mean, you pull that table out. Yeah. You know, you know, you're ready for prime time. Like the guy, oh, for like sure. when you're setting that up, and the guy sees that, yeah, he knows that there's a tack on option at the end. For the I feel end. like it's not even a tack. It's like you, it's included. You don't pull that out for first time clients. Yeah, like it only comes out if you've been there. <laughs> if you, if you yeah, for the milk, you're milking clients. The, ma- the massage person has like multiple tables that they're like cycling through, like <laughs> their little rolodex of tables. And they're like, this is the one. This is the, I need this table. This, yeah, this, I'm I need this table for this table. Yeah. 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 BDSM bondage glory hole milking station. What do they call it? Yeah, that is wild. <laughs> Here's a good one. Uh, Tennessee, whole, Tennessee hotel night manager charged after guests woke up to him sucking on his toes. Okay. An evening manager uh, at a Tennessee hotel was arrested after he snuck into a man's room and sucked on his toes while he was asleep. Fuck. David Neal, a 52-year-old manager at the 4th Avenue South Hilton Hotel in Nashville, allegedly crept into the male guest's room on March 30th and got intimate with his feet. Oh, my God. The guest told police that he woke up to Neal's mouth around his toes and immediately confronted him. I would hope so. Yeah. I hope he didn't like, oh, okay. And then went back to what, bed. Like confronting him, is it like you kicked him in the face or was it the, like, that's the only um, pro- excuse me. Well, he said it says it um, the do not distor- disturb thing is in the door. No room service. Please. No room service. Leave the towels out front. Yeah. Yeah. God he said, damn. Bro, my dick's up here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He said uh, he recognized Neil as one of the hotel employees who came into his room that day before, uh, before to fix his television. Neil admitted to the police that he had entered the room but claimed he did so because he smelled smoke and wanted to make sure the guest was okay. It smelled smoke? Yeah. Oh, that was the excuse. That's why I went in his room and sucked on his toes. Yeah, that's what, um, you know, like when fire prevention stuff, you know that stuff? You stop, yeah. drop, and roll, yeah. suck on their toes, <laughs> stuff like that. I forget, but it's something like yeah, that. Yeah, I was worried there was a fire in the room, so I, I licked his toes to keep yeah. the fire off. Check yeah. his pulse. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, th- I smell pulse. smoke. I need to eat pussy, I guess, <laughs> to put it out. I smell smoke. I need you to blow me. What does, yeah. what does one thing have to do with the yeah, other? Well, yeah. That is <laughs> fucking insane, dude. I would have PTSD about going to a hotel. Yeah. I'd like not be able to go to a hotel ever. It again. would fuck me up, man. I mean, like, to let to let you to have the guy come in. And also, have you seen a picture of this guy? Oh, my God. Look at this guy. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> looks like a video game character yeah he looks like a non like a non-player character video game character yeah and he's got no chin he looks like a like a jobber in like a <laughs> wwf yeah. or whatever like a guy that's he like looks he looks like out. he looks like a like a like a fucking substitute teacher you know yeah. what i'm saying like he's like, like he's like the guy that like in a movie is like shot immediately yeah like a, he plays the role of like a soldier that is shot <laughs> that's his only job yeah but like a soldier on the enemy lines because they want him to look bad yeah the, yeah. the bad guy. Like he has to look bad and evil. <laughs> yeah, God, Dude, that's crazy. Did you hear about the submarine? I did hear about the submarine. Everyone's talking about the submarine. <clears throat> yeah, kind of. I kind of missed out on it, and then like everybody's been talking about it. So I missed. Yeah. I, I missed the meme cycle. Yeah, that's what. Like, if, if all you're the memes big, are already you're, out, you're a big meme guy too. So yeah, well, I've been busy, but also, yeah. who gives a fuck about these assholes in the submarine? Yeah, I mean, honestly, you're going down the bottom of the ocean. Good chance you're going to die down there. Sure. I'm going to go ahead and go on the record and say, I love billionaires. <laughs> if you're a billionaire and you want to hang out, hit me up. Hit me up? Yeah. <laughs> if you need a friend? Yeah. If you want to go out on your boat, not a not sub, the submarine. Not, not a sub. Not going on that. But if you want a boat that, you know, kind of stay, that's a proof boat that yeah. you didn't make with <laughs> your, your fancy. Yeah. yeah. 
that's controlled with a video game controller. Did you see that? I did. Yeah, well, you'd be good at it, dude. Well, Xbox. okay. Here's what's really bullshit about that. It's like you saw the video game controller, right? Yeah. It's not even like a fucking the actual controller. It's like a fucking Mad Cat's piece of shit. Oh, yeah. You, you know, how, like the knockoff if, version you get from yeah. like fucking Best Buy. It's like it's like you can buy the actual controller for your from video game Microsoft, system yeah. for like sixty bucks, or you can get this piece of shit for twenty, and it's garbage. Like the buttons are like. Yeah. You have to like push it so far down. That's the controller you buy. I went cheap with You're it. You're a billionaire, dude. Get the fucking like the PlayStation Plus controller with the paddles on the yeah, back. Yeah, get some yeah, some gold plated shit. Yeah, get the real with the adjustable joysticks and shit. Dude, one of those guys that went down there and died, uh, not the Pakistani couple, father son, they were billionaires. The mm-hmm. other guy was like this some British financier giant or whatever. Yeah. And apparently his stepson Mm-hmm. Was like like you know tweeting about like oh you know pray for my you know, stepdad blah 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 but at the same time he was like sliding in girls DMs and commenting on hot OnlyFans girls pages on Instagram okay. and like people have caught this and are giving him shit about it but like can you believe <laughs> it how tone deaf is his stepson that while everyone's worried about finding his stepdad he's out here like DMing these chicks and I'm like yeah it's his stepson yeah like, he give a fuck about that I'm sure yeah. he hates his stepfather yeah, his stepdad, he's probably thrilled his stepdad is dead yeah. Uh, well, there's that. Is this the same guy that went to the Blink-182 concert? Yep, same kid, yeah. Okay, so here's the thing, right? Everybody's mad about this kid going to the Blink-182 concert while the dad, the stepdad getting is missing, okay? But it's like, how irresponsible is it to go on a submarine while you have tickets coming up to an, a Blink-182 yeah. concert? <laughs> That's pretty irresponsible. Yeah. It's like, I how, like how in advance did you buy the tickets to the Blink-182 concert? Yeah, also, is he like not going to go because, I well, mean, he, he bought the tickets. He bought the tickets. Here, here's how you decide who's who's at fault here. Whereas the tickets to the sub bought before the tickets yeah. to Blink-182. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like how many, how many fees did you have to pay for your sub tickets? Probably not that many. <laughs> not as bad as a tw- Taylor Swift ticket. Yeah, but getting in a sub is cheaper than going to see Taylor Swift. Yeah, and you still could be imploded. <laughs> you could still be imploded at a Taylor Swift concert. Yeah, by the brilliance of her voice, by the majesty of it, or well, by that, her, or no, her that, fans it, mowing you down. Yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. There's, I mean, there's like, uh, you know, you could get imploded at a Blink One Eighty Two concert in the mosh pit. Yeah, you know what I mean, dude. How I, I what I don't get is like, I, I'm like a fan of music and artists, and you know, like I love certain comedians and like I said, musicians. But yeah. I've never been like so captivated the way people are with Taylor Swift. I don't get it. Like, how do people like rise above to get to that cult status? Because um, like people will die for her. Like they go to war for Taylor Swift. Yeah, I don't really understand that. It's like, like I don't love her. I don't love myself enough to yeah. you know like <laughs> like people love Taylor Swift about, more than they love themselves. I don't care about anything that much. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I wish I, I did. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I wish feel the same I had way. that level of passion. I, yeah, I just like, don't. To give that much of a shit yeah. about anything, I just don't have it. But like, yeah, yeah I just don't. I have just a high level of apathy. Like, I, I don't care just, about like, anything. It's yeah. like, I mean, there's things I'm stoked about, and I'll be like, nice. Yeah. But I, I'm not like sweet. Yeah, yeah that's like, pretty yeah. cool, dude. Nice. Yes. Yeah. yeah, but like with, uh, yeah, it's like they did that with uh, Taylor Swift, Beyonce, Beyonce, yeah. yeah, yeah, the Killer Bees, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, the people that are fans of them, you know, it's a little outrageous. Yeah, they go nuts. My my estimation. Yeah, Beyonce probably more so, right? Yeah, w- he, that's a good question. Who would you rather bang, Beyonce or Taylor Swift? Hmm. I don't know. I feel like Beyonce. I go Beyonce, dude. Uh, Beyonce's okay. I feel like she's kind of overrated. But I feel know? like she'd be a better lay. No, you know, like Taylor Swift looks like a little up her own ass. Yeah, yeah. Taylor Swift doesn't have enough of a shapely figure. Yeah. You know, she's a little <laughs> too thin for me. You know, but yeah. like, here's the deal, though. Here's the thing: you fuck uh, if you fuck Taylor Swift, dude. Guess what's happening? Album coming out about you. Yeah, but do you get royalties right on that? No, but like you're you're in the. Oh, you could say I'm the guy. All the t- all the T Swift heads are gonna be like that album is about Jeff because yeah. he broke her heart. You know what I mean? Yeah, so pretty, now there's an album about you going out. Yeah. Like, so you're getting publicity off of that. Seems pretty easy to break her heart. I mean, she's got like 15 number one albums over it. Yeah. You know? Yeah, is it that or is she just like doing her 
I mean, she might be a closet le- closet lesbian, and she's just lying about these breakups. You know. Yeah. It is. She. I mean. I mean, and, and, and also to the people that are like getting into new relationships with her, like, do you you know what's gonna happen? Oh yeah, you most know the album. Yeah, coming. most people date her just because of that. Probably just I want to be a part of the album. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't. Uh, yeah, she's she's cool though. She's got some hits. I can't name a single one of her fucking songs. I'm sure I could. Like, if I heard it, like oh, I heard this one before. But yeah, I couldn't she, name a one of them. She's got some good ones, dude. I can see you rocking out. The yeah, fucking dude, Taylor Swift. Got some, you got the hair. Yeah, dude. is this Taylor Swift hair? <laughs> This is Taylor Swift. Kind of like her hair. She's blonde, right? Same thing. I mean, yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, her have similar hair. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. if you shave, you, you know, mm-hmm. identify as Taylor Swift. I am. I am Taylor. I'm a Swifty. <laughs> Swifty. Yeah, dude. Thanks for coming on, brother. Yeah, man. Appreciate thanks, having you. Thanks for what, uh, what do you got coming up? What do you want to promote? The Two Woke Boys still going? Yeah, Two Woke Boys on all platforms. That's T-O-O Woke Boys. Um, YouTube, Spotify, Instagram, TikTok, Grindr, all that stuff. You know. Yeah, all that stuff. Um, check it out there. And then also follow me on all my pages, Jeff Zinisek. So um, yeah. yeah. If you like uh if you like women's rights, you follow Jeff Zinisek. Mm-hmm. That's right. I care ally. about women and whatever fucking bullshit they're complaining about these days. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, that's it for this week. Love you guys. Check it next week. Peace. Thank you.